guys, Gilbo's at it again. <laughs> he's warning, he's warning Canadians that in the next few months, the temperatures are going to get really warm. The weather is going to get real. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Was it, we're in May. Uh, April, May, May, June, July. Or, you know what? He could be right this time. Summer is coming. So let's have a look on X and see what it says. Breaking climate terrorist Stephen Gilbo says Canada is in the midst of a crisis with experts predicting a rise in temperatures over the next few months. Do, do, do. <laughs> Canadians must be prepared for a bad fire season. So it looks like they're hiring more arsonists because of that word there and that word there. Do they know something we don't? Hello, everyone. The meteorologists at Environment and Climate Change Canada work around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to forecast all weather events across the country. No other federal institution is as present in Canadians' daily lives. The Canadian climate is warming about twice as fast as the global average, and we're heading for an increased risk of forest fires over the coming months. It's important to be prepared and to have the tools we need to adapt and be better prepared and react. Climate change is already affecting our climate, but also our reality and the way people in Canada live and work. Wow. So that's what he had to say. In other words, summer's coming and the arsonists are going to be out setting fire to forests. So just be aware of that. Just look out for arsonists. That's, do you think that's what he's warning about? So I thought I'd just take a look, first of all, at a web page that the Canadian government had got out regarding the weather getting warmer. And then we're going to listen to an expert right at the end who's going to tell us everything about what you'll need to know about the upcoming heat wave. So let's just scroll down to the bottom of this because this is where it gets interesting. So what we've got here is what Canada learned from the flu season crisis. The flu season crisis has shown that strong concerted government action can avert the worst of a crisis. But the longer term crisis of flu of the weather change looming larger than ever governments in canada and around the world responded to the flu season in various ways lockdowns and curfews mask mandates followed by gb jabby rollouts support for workers and small businesses affected by economic shutdowns now you roll right down to the bottom it says this suggests that Canadians can draw crisis management from the lessons from the bad flu season season as well as economic recovery efforts will provide opportunities for the emergence of stronger more weather resilient society if governments at all levels citizens and private sector and civil society work together by taking lessons from the the flu season that we recently had. Mm, what does that tell you? Well, could there be the lockdowns? I, I, do, I don't know. I'm only reading what they're writing. And then we've got this guy, Gilbo, saying that, hey, summer's coming. Make sure you check for uh, check that you've got your shorts ready, flip-flops, sunscreen. Yeah, maybe that's... I'm trying to read into what he's saying. You know, I'm not trying to make things up here. I don't want to be classed as a conspiracy conspiracy theorist I, i'm just we just want to make sure that we all have sunscreen ready and uh, make sure that your sunroof is working on your car and make sure that everything is right make sure that you know if you've got a pool make sure it's all ready for the next few months because gilbo says summer is coming okay and here on the british columbia re website it says cooling spaces and centers will be open for this for the for the upcoming warm weather libraries community centers shopping malls movie theaters religious parks and sh every everywhere in a response to the weather warnings first nations government affected areas may open emergency cooling centers so nothing about <laughs> nothing about lockdowns okay we're not we're not going there yet we're not going there we're not we're not going to do that conspiracy anyway let's have a listen to a an expert 
from the 1970s. The data shows that average temperatures in the Arctic have fallen dramatically over the last 30 years. In most locations, the drop has been about 2 degrees centigrade. At that rate, the descent to ice age temperatures could take less than 200 years. It is not only the lonely Arctic that has cooled. The whole northern hemisphere is growing steadily colder. There is little doubt that someday the ice will return. At least eight times in the past million years, it has advanced and retreated with clockwork regularity. But not this summer. No, it's not going to return this summer. This is an eye-opener. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember watching stuff like this. If we are unprepared for the next advance, the result could be hunger and death on a scale unprecedented in all of history. What scientists are telling us now is that the threat of an ice age is not as remote as they once thought. During the lifetime of our grandchildren, Arctic cold and perpetual snow could turn most of the inhabitable portions of our planet into a polar desert. And how accurate were they in the 1970s when they predicted the ice age? That just shows you. We, we've really got to listen to the scientists on this because they were absolute. Oh, hold on. No, they were... They were wrong. <laughs> Till next time.